So I'm told him just now, it is well. You mean you heard it or you heard the voice? It is well. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I mean, let me tell you, experience the Holy Spirit is easy. One time prayer, you can experience the Holy Spirit. But to keep that, it takes work. And faith. The work is not heavy work, it's easy work. Now you watch me, open your eyes and watch me for a second. This is very helpful. When I relax, I find this power pushing me. And you too, when you think of Jesus, and you love Jesus, you feel the power pushing you. That's from the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in, in John, uh, Revelation 1.17, that John saw the glorified Jesus and then he fell to the ground. And then in Acts chapter 9, verse 3 to 4, that Saul was chasing after uh, the Christians. And then he was, he was on the way and saw Jesus, and then he fell to the ground. So when you open your heart and relax, you feel the swaying power. You feel the swaying power. The more open, the stronger will come to you. And then it comes with it, there will be peace and joy and burdens and and then other gifts also. So I hope you spend more hours standing. It's easier at the beginning to stand and pray. Hallelujah, praise Shalom. And then the power, for me, the power goes through my whole person. And when you learn to open your heart, then your whole person can be overwhelmed with the peace of God. And you also need to read the Bible and obey God and serve God in all these areas. And then you go high and high in, in anointing. The more you pray together as a group, now some of you are more open, some of you are more, more passive. When you're passive, it's hard to experience God more. But when you are active, then you can experience it more. And, and so I hope you're actively seeking God, actively loving God and serving God.